just stop to think about what sort of substances we interact with every single day? I mean, I live in downtown Toronto. I feel like I must have stepped in cocaine or heroin multiple times just while going about my daily life. And I mean, there's those which at least you can get high off of, which I'm not advocating for, by the way. Don't do drugs, especially not hard drugs. But then there are the substances that, as far as I'm concerned, literally only exist to kill you or hurt you. What is up, you guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video. Now, we've already done part one, but believe it or not, there are a lot of toxic substances out there, so let's leap of faith into this vat of acid right now. Time to get corrosive with the top 10 most toxic substances in the world, part two. Tell me you didn't love that. I hope you guys ate that up, because I ate that up. <laughs> Starting us off at number 10 is chlorine trifluoride. Now this interhalogen compound is so reactive and dangerous that it can actually corrode glass. I didn't even think glass would be that hard to corrode since it shatters so damn easily, but apparently it is hard. Now, the gas is completely colorless, but very corrosive and poisonous, which doesn't help when you can't even see the damn thing. Oh, and it's a main component in rocket fuel, which has to be super reactive if it's going to propel a rocket literally into outer space. But yeah, whenever this stuff touches water, it explodes as well. So imagine what would happen if you, being 70% water, just consumed it. Now, I don't think I need to do the mass for you guys here, but I'm, I'm sure you know what I'm getting at. But forget water, even if it interacts with any non-flammable material, it will combust even without an ignition source. Coming in at number 9 is sarin gas. This synthetic compound will apparently kill anyone who is exposed to it within 10 minutes. It apparently suffocates you, which I've heard is the most painful way to die by literally paralyzing your lungs, therefore cutting off your ability to breathe. It's like drowning without even being in water. It's so dangerous that in 1997, the production of it was outlawed by the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993, since it was considered a weapon of mass destruction. A weapon of mass destruction that is colorless and odorless and essentially undetectable until it's far too late. Like, can you even imagine being able to move every part of your body except your lungs? What would that even feel like? Would you be able to do the action of breathing? Breathing, but have it not actually work? Even inhaling a non-lethal dose will still result in permanent neurological damage. It's been used so many times, like during the Iran-Iraq war, it was unleashed in the Tokyo subway back in 1995 and killed 12 people and injured over 6,200 more. In 1988, it was used in the Halabja chemical attack in Kurdistan and killed 5,000 civilians. At number 8 is sodium cyanide, which is very similar to potassium cyanide, which we covered in part 1. Now, sodium Sodium cyanide is this poisonous compound that looks like a white water soluble solid and is apparently used as an industrial reactant in a lot of scenarios. Exposure to it will cause you to die in seconds. And I hope you like almonds because that's going to be the last thing you smell before you're gone forever. Now it works by kind of deactivating the oxygen in your body which all your organs obviously need to function so take that away and you're a goner. This compound is the quickest acting poison known to man and even a dose as small as 200 to 300 100 milligrams can be fatal. <laughs> Who knew? A filling at number 7 slot is tetrodotoxin or TTX. Now TTX is a neurotoxin that's found in a lot of fish like ocean sunfish, pufferfish, porcupine fish and so on. It works by shutting down the nerve channels between your brain and your body. Now some of these are eaten as delicacies around the world like in Japan, but if the organ containing the poison isn't removed properly, well, good luck Charlie. <laughs> Now a tiny dose will paralyze you, but even just a little bit more than that will paralyze the muscles you need to live. Within 6 or so hours, your diaphragm stops working, which means you won't be able to breathe. I mean, that's if you make it that long, because some people have died within that 6 hour window because of an irregular heartbeat. Essentially, it's toxic whether it's inhaled, ingested, absorbed through a cut, smoked through crack cocaine, I don't know, you'll die either way. Now at number 6 is mercury. Mercury is present in so many foods that we eat, but luckily it's usually in such small amounts that we don't even notice it. But too much of it can definitely cause a lot of issues, not the least of which being depression, anxiety, tremors, numbness, and memory problems. But it can also really have an even more of a neurological impact on both grown ups and kids. In adults it can cause vision changes, nerve loss in hands and face, lack of coordination, and hearing and speech difficulties. Whereas in kids, it can cause issues with cognition, fine motor skills, speech and language development, and of course, visual spatial awareness. If a kid gets mercury poisoning, this can cause permanent developmental issues, which I guess is why pregnant people aren't supposed to eat fish or other high mercury foods. 
Coming in at number five is amatoxin. Now you know those cute little toadstool mushrooms that are red with the white dots that are in like every single cartoon? Yeah. Don't eat those. Now those are the ones amongst other wild mushrooms that contain amatoxin and eating just one of these could kill you, but it'll do so very slowly. Amatoxin is a group of at least eight toxic compounds found primarily in poisonous mushrooms. This toxin attacks the kidneys and liver and can lead to a coma followed by a slow, painful death if ingested. Yet another reason why you shouldn't take life advice from cartoons, no matter how colorful and tasty they make the mushrooms look. Even in a tiny dose, amatoxin is lethal and it's hard to get rid of since heat won't destroy it. You'd have to heat the mushroom beyond the point of being able to eat it, cooking one won't even lower its toxicity. So be careful you shroom heads. And number 4 is Brodifacum. If you're ever in the market for wanting to bleed to death from the inside out, then look no further because this is the chemical for you. Brodifacum is a highly lethal anticoagulant which basically means it's a really intense blood thinner. It can kill you by causing internal bleeding which will then lead to death. It's usually sold as a rat poison or pesticide but even just touching it can lead to exposure. While touching it probably won't kill you, it can stay in your body for up to 9 months after the initial exposure. Not to mention the damage it can do to your four-legged friend if your family pet just decides to feast on a rat that ate the rat poison. Now of course it can sometimes be cured with a very long treatment with antidotal vitamin K but it's complicated. A lot of people have used Brodifacum while trying to take their own lives and sometimes accidentally. If you're a weed smoker since 2018, 5 people have died after smoking synthetic cannabis that had been laced with Brodifacum. It's like the whole fentanyl scare with cocaine but with weed. Be wary, people. Filling at number three slot is ethylene glycol. This organic compound is especially scary because it's so commonly found in people's homes. There's a very good chance you have it lying around your house or garage. It is most commonly known as antifreeze. If you were to consume this poison, it oxidizes into a substance called glycolic acid, then oxidizes further into oxalic acid, which starts killing your cells pretty much immediately because of how toxic it is. It first attacks the kidneys and central nervous system, which are two very important things that you kind of need in order to live. Oh yeah, and if you do have this laying around, please keep it away from children, pets, or just, you know, irresponsible adults. It's naturally very sweet, so people and animals have been known to drink it without realizing what it is. It looks like a thick, colorless, and odorless liquid, and you may even mistake it for water if you just saw it in a vial or something. But then again, when was the last time anyone drank water out of a vial? We're not in RuneScape now. Now at number 2 is fluoroantimonic acid. You know how insanely corrosive sulfuric acid is? Well fluoroantimonic acid is 20 quintillion times more corrosive than that. This inorganic compound can literally melt your skin clean off your bones. Just in time for Halloween too if you want to go as an actual skeleton. This substance is part of a group of super acids and the only way this can be stored safely is in Teflon containers since it corrodes glass. It's the only thing that can contain it and not be devoured by itself simultaneously which is you know, very inception-y I know. Scientists are only able to work with it if they dilute it by a matter of thousands, but it's also super aggressively reactive with water, so it's like give us a break, I'm only a mere mortal, I can only do so much. And finally, at number one, we have 2378 tetrachlorodibenzodioxin. Yes! Uh, I did it on the first try! I'm happy. Obviously not to be confused with Elon Musk's son, XAsh A12, commonly referred to as TCDD or dioxin, because who the hell can keep saying that massive word over and over again? Anyways, this one is absolutely messed up and I really want to say the F word, but I won't. But it is coursing through my body right now, just wanted to let you know. There's really no bad description for it. Now, this colorless, odorless chemical, which is apparently produced when something doesn't explode enough, can cause some serious damage. Exposure to it creates lesions on the body and starts damaging fatty organs like your spleen, liver, and intestines. I hate the idea of any sort of poison causing cuts on your body. Like, it's one thing to damage your organs and stuff, but how do things even cause external damage? How? Like, uh, what? How? <laughs> and apparently researchers don't even know why it's so severe, which means there's really no way to know how to treat it. Fun fact, or rather tragic fact, TCDD's most potent and toxic compound was used as the contaminant in Agent Orange, which was used during the Vietnam War and it killed, you know, God knows how many people. Well, there you have it, 10 more of the most toxic substances in the world. Not to say that the world is a dangerous place and we should all just live in a bubble, but you know, you know. Just watch out of what you're touching and drinking and, you know, don't touch or drink anything. Ever. <laughs> Read the labels, people. As always, I've been your host, Eamon Hassan, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>
<sighs> We've got this. Yeah. Have your buddy, buddy, <laughs> your buddy, your buddy. <laughs> Even inhaling a non-lethal dose. Do <laughs> <laughs> So cringe yet so funny. Those are the ones. Those are the ones. Ow. Tetrachloro de benzodioxin. Tetra tetrachloro. Okay, okay. Tetra tetrachloro de benzodioxin. Okay, okay. Hold on. 